What is going on with dot damage in last epoch? There's some overtuning happening, in my opinion. They penetrate most of your defense. They deal insane amounts of damage to you. Getting killed in a single tick of a dot when you can handle all other forms of damage just isn't fun. Like, it leads to gameplay and moments where you think you've understood everything and you attack aggressively in the fights and you have a strategic confidence in how to navigate tough fight. And then you dip your toe into a little poison pool and boom you're dead i have no idea what's going on in cycle 1.1 okay but before we get into me whining about how i die all the time a lot of you continue to watch my content but yet do not subscribe if you can find it in your heart to hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it at the end of the day one of the reasons why i created this channel was to get my content out to as many eyes and ears as possible and by you hitting the subscribe button, you're helping me achieve that goal and you're helping support my content. So your subscription would mean the world to me. I have never been one shot so much in my life than in the Harbingers of Ruin. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not a, oh my God, the damage is too much. Please tone it down, 11th Hour Games. Not at all. I want to create this video because I want to get your feedback on what your hex, your experience has been. Now, granted, a lot of the one-shot deaths that I've gone through in my grind in 1.1 is just naturally me doing a very poor job of not paying attention to my resistances. I have to say, I have been very bad at it in 1.1. Whereas in 1.0, I was very diligent, diligent sorry, about keeping up with getting to the resistance cap. Now, like I said, a lot of my one shots have been related to that. However, even though I have now overcome that hurdle, 95%, let's just say, I'm still getting one shot. Now, I've had some comments in my chat on my live streams about, you know what? I find that if I go over the cap, I feel like I could handle more damage over time, more of the poison pools, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. And it got me thinking how much tuning or over tuning have they done with these elemental damage types and damage over time? Should we really have to concern ourselves with going over the cap? Like in other games, when you hit the resistance cap, you're good. You, you, you're protected. Please don't misconstrue what I just said there. I'm not saying just because you have resistances all capped that you are God and immune to any kind of damage. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about one shot mechanics in this game right now and dying one shot. Again, the amount of one shot deaths I've had in 1.1 has been unbelievable. I probably have had more one shot deaths in one evening than I had in all of 1.0 cycle, which this is why I'm creating the video. Is it just a matter of me getting good? Probably. Is it me just not having the right balance, enough health, enough crit avoidance? You know, I can go down the list. And look, at the end of the day, I'm sure that is a contributor. My build, the lack of resistances I had at certain points of my climb and min-maxing my character. And I'm playing a Torment Warlock, which I played in 1.0. And as a matter of fact, I got a Warlock, an Acolyte Warlock Mastery to level 85 on hardcore okay until you know who killed me son of a my point is something's going on in my opinion and i want to hear your feedback am i just i got to get better are you guys experiencing the same thing and for for those technical guys the analytical guys out there that watch my content if you could get into the comment section and give us the technical your technical take the math the reasoning is there any does someone have evidence of this now i have i have seen some comments there are comments out there that people are complaining about how much 
damage over time has been crazily overtuned. How getting one shot has happened a lot. Now we were we knew with the release of Harbingers of Ruin at 1.1 that the difficulty was going to be ramped up a bit. Um, so we knew this was coming, but this is really um, I'm finding this. It, it doesn't make it fun to play. Now again. I'm not saying it has to be toned down. I want to prove it before I get to that. Um, before I get to that assessment, if you know what I mean. Right now, this is just me expressing my frustration. And again, it might be 100% correlated with my build, with the skill, you know, that thing. Um, but what I want to do is have evidence and prove it. And that's why I'm reaching out to you guys. I want to hear from you guys and let me know what your thoughts are on this. Are you getting one shot a lot? Are you finding the difficulty and the damage? Damage over time, the poison pools, void pools, all that stuff. Are you finding it a little bit more OP this cycle? I would really, really like to hear your feedback, your comments, and what you suggest if you agree with me. How do we deal with this? Again, is it just a matter of getting good and having our characters built properly? I, again, that might be 100% of the problem here. Who knows? Anyway, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts. I would really, really appreciate it. I want to get down to the bottom of this because I'm tired of getting one shot. I have plans of playing hardcore but if this is going to be the theme this cycle i don't know if i want to go through this and lose a hardcore character to these one shot mechanics don't even get me going about hero and the what i like to call the cheesy mechanic that that boss fight has where he basically takes the fight into the corners of the arena where you literally have maybe two or three safe spots while he's doing all his psycho boss damage uh like cheesy cheesy mechanic i you know it drives me crazy those kind of cheesy boss mechanics are in games but again that's just me whining. It's definitely beatable. We've all killed them. But it just drives me crazy in the Herod, Herod fight that he continues to push us into the corners and there's obstacles in the, and you could hardly move. And boom, before you know it, it's you're dead. You know, like it's such cheesy mechanics. Again, me just whining. Irrelevant to this conversation. Let me hear your thoughts and take on damage over time. The poison pools, void pools. Have they been amped up and i want you to compare it to your experience with 1.0 please all right that'll do it everybody guys we are grinding away here and we're getting closer and closer to level 100 and the pinnacle boss so we'll love to see you on my stream by the way i stream every evening on twitch channel name is sammy caps come and watch me play last epoch live i'm doing a torment warlock i'm loving this uh play style it's really fun build outside of the one shots um but we are gonna fix that and remedy it remedy it, it big time uh we need to amp up our resistances and there's some fine tuning we need and by the way i am like 20 percent into the end build so i'm far from reaching its maximum potential but come and check me out come and say hello we got a cool chill community we'd love to have you come over and say hello and as always we'll see you in the terra thanks for watching everybody the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine healthy debate is always encouraged hate is never welcomed so get over it